Hello guys and welcome to the 2016 to 2017 winter outlook from me. I will provide you with maps on the national temperature outlook, national precipitation outlook, predicted snowfall amounts for major cities across the United States, and an overall synopsis of what is probably going to happen this winter across the contiguous United States. So first we're going to look at the typical pattern for a La Nina winter, which is the type of winter that we are going to have here in the United States this year. La Nina is an area of cooler temperatures near the equator in the Pacific Ocean that influences our weather through the jet streams. So you can see that the Pacific jet stream will be coming in around Northern California and Oregon coastlines and it will fluctuate a little so it could go northern up to uh, the western coast of Washington or it could go more southern and go into the central parts of California and that would bring rain usually to the north of it maybe some snow as well but we could also see some wet areas in the Great Lakes Ohio Valley region from the polar jet stream sending some storm systems frequently into that area this winter especially in the middle of the winter when this really starts to kick in and you can see this area of drier weather in the southern United States, which will also be accompanied by warmer than average temperatures, at least for the first half of the winter. Here's my first map for the prediction of the winter of 2016 to 2017. This is the National Temperature Outlook, and you can see that in the Great Lakes Midwest area of the country, there will be some frequent cold shots, especially as we get into January or February because that La Nina starts to kick into effect more with the polar jet stream becoming more consistent with storms bringing into that area, so it will bring frequent cold shots. There will be a few that could reach the far south into like the Atlanta, Charleston, Birmingham areas, but they won't be anything like that in the Great Lakes area. They will be below average from that, but not by much. So it will actually start above average for the winter for most of the country, and then gradually get below average. Now the southern part of the country, especially in the south and west, will have much above average temperatures, which is not good for the drought in Southern California, and it could build a drought into the southwest area of the United States, such as like Phoenix and El Paso. This is the National Precipitation Outlook, and right away you notice that there's going to be a big increase in the lake effect snow areas, so the natural snow belts of the Great Lakes from Cleveland to Buffalo, Syracuse, pretty much all of Michigan. So those areas will be quite active this year, especially in the beginning as the lakes are at close to record warmth from it being a very, very warm year all across the world. So those will cause some very strong snowmakers, especially when you get under a band for hours at a time. It can add up to feet of snow. There will also be some dips that will get into the Montana area of the country, so there could be a little bit above average snowfall there, or precip, depending on the temperature of your uh, air when the precipitation falls. So it could be ice, rain, snow, likely snow, but it could be rain at times if it's not warm enough. The same goes for the Ohio Valley Midwest area that I had outlined in that darker pink area. But the more concerning part is that the below average areas go from California down across the entire southern tier of the United States and the worst hit areas will be central Texas and southern Florida which Texas just got out of a drought, so they might get back into one this winter, which would not be good. But there also is going to be some worsening of the drought in California due to these less than average precipitation values in the mountains, which would lead up to not as much water for their snowpack. So here is the overall synopsis for this winter in the contiguous United States. You can read it for yourself, but basically is what I just went over in the last two maps compiled into an overall consensus map. So you can see in the south, especially from Texas to California, it will be hot and way drier than average. Then just above that, stretching up into eastern Oregon, it will be dry and way milder, milder than normal. 
and in the areas from Seattle down through Portland and m maybe getting down to Eureka along the coast and then inland to the mountain chains. There will be some wetness because of the Pacific jet stream, so it will be just a little wetter than average. And you can see in the Idaho, Wyoming, Montana areas, there could be some above average snow and a few cold snaps. About average in the middle of the country from Kansas City over to Denver and up to the northern parts of Nebraska. It'll be about average, so expect what you would typically see in a normal winter. In this area from central North Dakota stretching down along Des Moines, down into the Ohio Valley, and all the way down to uh, Nashville and back up curving around the northeast coast up the 95 corridor but just east of Boston there could be a few cold snaps and slightly above average snowfall in this area from Albany New York down through Pittsburgh area and into the Ohio River Valley going all the way up past uh, Minneapolis into northern Minnesota that area could see frequent cold snaps and above average snowfall and in the lake effect belts where you usually see lake effect snow it will be much more extreme than normal and you will have an average winter right along the coastline in the northeast and little inland over the mountain chains of New Hampshire and Vermont and in Boston Portland areas it will be about average and then it will be slightly warmer than average in northern Maine here is a map of the white Christmas chances this year now these won't be exactly accurate, but these are the typical chances of you seeing snow on the ground during like Christmas or it falling. And I heightened those chances if you were going to see an above average winter, lowered it if you're going to see a below average winter. So it's a little heightened north of the Ohio River and in the Appalachians as well as the Rockies and then especially in the Northern Plains, the Luth area. So yeah, that's just a little extra map I threw in there. just. So you guys can plan ahead if you wish, but it looks like pretty typical chances because jet stream won't start kicking until later. This is a map on the lake effect snow belt forecast amount of snow from this winter. I took the typical accumulations that these snow belts usually see from lake effect snow and I added a 45% increase to them due to that's what I will be believe is going to happen. So it looks like these areas could be seeing quite a bit of snow. Now obviously they won't be, like the whole areas outlined won't see that much due to the lake effect snow coming in bands. So for instance Erie, Pennsylvania might see several feet of snow over the course of a month from lake effect snow where just a few miles north up the coast they might only have gotten six inches. So it will vary but overall this is what you guys can expect if you live along these lake effect snow areas so just a little neat map I thought I decided I would do these next seven maps are the certain regions of the United States and their major cities predicted snowfall amounts now these amounts I used by calculating the percentile of increase or decrease that I had on the first two maps I showed you on top of their average snowfall for the winter. So these will not be exactly accurate, but you can take a look at them and gauge how much above or below average you will see for the winter. So this is the Northeast, and this next map coming up is the Great Lakes. And you can see the lake effect really has an influence on whether or not you'll see close to 100 inches or about 40, 30 inches. So typically in the I-70 corridor, you'll get 25 to in inches. So it'll increase by about 10 inches, maybe a couple inches above that, so we'll have to see how the winter plays out. And 75 corridor, it changes a lot because it's north to south, those are the only two major interstates that I really know, the Great Lakes. As for the south, 95, maybe some wet roads occasionally in the Raleigh-Durham area, so along the coast there could be a little bit of snow, but typically there's no snow in Florida, so those are all zero. The south central area of the country typically doesn't see that much snow until you get up to Oklahoma City northward, especially in Denver. And Kansas City will be about 
um, average as well St. Louis. I put a slight increase on St. Louis because they're close to that line I drew with the increase by 30%. So I, I think I did like 15% on there. But the cities in Texas could have maybe trace at times. The north central, northern plains area can see some major increases east of Bismarck especially. So like right now as I'm recording this there is a blizzard the first winter storm of the year that the weather channel was named that's hitting this area right as we speak this is uh, November 17th so it was winter storm Argus they predict it's about 12 to 18 inches anywhere from Watertown up through Duluth just north of there so we'll have to see how that plays and adds to those accumulations this is the northwestern area of the country Seattle and Portland usually don't get that much snow per per season but the mountains just east of them definitely get lots of snow. You can see Helena there with about 65 inches. So the mountains will definitely get more snow than the major cities, unless the major city is like on a mountain, not any I can think of. But like Boise will probably get more than Helena due to its being a little higher up. And he, finally, this is the southwestern area of the country. Usually there's not much snow at all until you get into the mountains of California and Phoenix is really hot usually so they'll have about a normal winter a little milder so Las Vegas maybe a trace Salt Lake City about 70 inches so you're about normal but the mountains will definitely see about normal snow maybe even a little less in California thank you guys so much for watching I hope that your winter goes how you want it to you can comment below if you want snow if you don't want snow how you think the winter is going to go or any of that kind of stuff. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook for more up-to-date, faster weather updates, especially on like winter storms with my own personalized maps that I make. And the, by the way, that's why it says weather view on all the maps I just showed you because those were my Instagram pictures that I posted earlier talking about the winter outlook. So thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a good winter.